Hi, welcome to the first part of this new video series, the Spurgear Housing. I've already updated the PDF, the 2D PDF, because I've added here an essential dimension which I really need. That would be 193.94 for this height. So, first I want to create some planes. Let's say we start here with zero. So I need one which is six millimeter below, then one is 85 above, and then this one and one which is six millimeter below this one. I want to create one on this side, on that side, and maybe two or three here. So one for that reference here, this one and that one, same on the other side. So here, there and this one. So let's have fun with on shape. Okay, let's create some planes. So one with a distance of 193.94 minus six and another one with 193.94 one with minus 12 so I have to reverse the direction because a negative value is not allowed so let's go for 12 Nice. And then another one to the right plane. And that would be 270 divided by 2. So that's 135. Another one. Reverse the direction. Again, 135. And one here and that would be 42.5 and one more reverse the direction and it's again 42.5 yeah i will need two more so another one here in that direction and distance would be that's 62.5 and for the moment the last one opposite direction again 62.5 and I uh, will do the rest of them when I need it. Okay. Let's rename those planes. So that would be the 194 point, no, 93 point 94 minus six this would be the 193.94 that would be the minus 12 this would be the 135 this would be the minus 135 that would be the 42.5 that one the minus 42.5 and these 
0.5 and that one here minus 62.5 okay our first sketch should be on the front plane so go for a sketch on the front plane I need a rectangle maybe like that here so this one and that one should be collinear this one and that one or coincidence and this one and that point or that plane here and I need a circle, diameter 600. And this should be aligned vertical. Let's move it a little bit down like that. And you could project or just use it. Go for tangency between those two. Now I can trim like that and confirm. Let's make an extrude. Solid one. Not blind but up to a face in one direction and that would be the plane 42.5 so that's on this one here and the second end position would be again up to face and that would be this plane here And of course, I need to select the sketch and confirm. Now I need a draft on all sides. So go for draft. The neutral plane would be, of course, the top plane. So that's this one here. Let's try to select it. That one here. I want to draft this one, this one, that one, and of course this one. And 3 degree would be OK and confirm. Great. Let's add the rounds or fillets. Fillet 70 millimeter on this edge and that edge. Confirm. And a 5 millimeter round or fillet on this edge. And that one here. And confirm. So that's my part one. Maybe rename it to inner. Let's hide this part. I need another extrude. This should be a new solid. Yes, that's OK. It should go up to a face. Yes. And the second direction should go up to a face as well. And the sketch would be the hidden one, this one. So this sketch here should go up to Let's take a look. The 82, 62.5. No, that's the 62.5. This one here should go up to this face. And the second one would be that face. And confirm. Let's add again a draft. Neutral plane would be again the top plane. And I want to draft 
all four sides with three degrees. Confirm. Now let's add the fillet. 70 millimeter. On this edge and that edge. Confirm. And a 20 millimeter fillet. Not a draft, but a fillet. 20 millimeter on this edge and that edge. Confirm. And let's call this one outdoor cooling ribs because this is needed for the cooling. So let's just call it cooling. I need two more planes. So go for a plane with a distance from the front plane. And that should be 72.5. And the similar one on the other side. Again from the front plane and change the direction and go to 72.5 once more. Yeah. Now the sketch on the front plane. That would be a rectangle. Maybe like that here. And I want to align those two and this one and Let's see if we can select the plane. Hmm. Maybe hide that for the moment and select hide the sketch. Because I want to select the plane for sure. That would be this plane here. Yeah. Now that distance should be three millimeter and the distance from this plane to that line should be 43.5. Finish that sketch and bring back that cooling. No, not yet. I want to make an extrude with that sketch here. Again, it should go up to a face. It should be a new one, that's okay. And the second direction also up to a face. And that would be on this plane here. And that plane here. And confirm. Of course, I could rename those two planes as well. So go to rename, that would be 72.5. And this would be minus 72.5. And of course, I can move those up to those planes. So they're all together. Now I need a linear pattern. Where's my pattern command? And there you go. In a pattern I want to make a new, I want to pattern a part, that's okay. That would be part three. Direction would be, yeah, can I go normal to a plane? That would be normal to the right plane. But that's okay. And I need six instances, and the distance between those should be 33 millimeter. And confirm. Okay. Now, with those Boolean operations in uh, on shape, they're quite different because there is no target. There are only tools. All of them are tools. 
So how to do an intersection between one body and those six bodies. Therefore it might be best to do an intersection with the pattern. So go to the pattern and go for intersect and select the cooling body as merge scope. Make it visible and select it. That will give me those six cooling reps. Yeah, and let's bring back the inner solid. And that concludes the first part of the Sperky housing for one shape. I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCap, Instagram, Facebook and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.